tips. In this video, I'll be showing you how to recreate this Halloween deep gash, deep cut makeup tutorial. It looks super cool and I think it's so effective and quite realistic. I've made this tutorial as easy as possible, so I hope that you enjoy this look. The first thing you're going to need is wax. This is Grimace Derma Wax, but I'm just going to use a spoon because when it comes to Halloween, I really, really like to be uh, cheap, as cheap as possible. So with costumes and stuff, I like to look what's in my wardrobe already or other people in the house's wardrobe as well, just to see what I can find and what I can make look cool. I'm scraping the wax on the back end of a spoon. This is kind of a hard texture to play with. I'm going to place that on to my skin, like that. You just want to get that onto the skin where you want the cut to be. And then you're going to need a lip balm. You can use any lip balm. I'm just using the Rodeal Glam Balm Lip. And you can use Vaseline Petroleum Jelly. And you just want to use that to blend everything out. See how it's already being smoothed out? Just use a really, really thick, balmy texture. Once you've slightly smoothed it out like this, you want to set that with talcum powder because it's very, very shiny and you don't want that. And it's going to be harder to work with if it's shiny like this. So as I said before, you want this look to be really cheap, so I'm not going to be using very many makeup brushes. And I'm not even going to be using a powder puff for the next step. I'm going to be using a flannel. I'm going to be using a flannel and some talcum powder. You don't have to use makeup powder. If you have loose makeup powder, then that will be brilliant. But Talcum powder works nicely, it's like a pound from the pound shop, but basically tip some talcum powder on the palm of your hand and just pat that on top of the wax. This will mattify it down and make it not shiny anymore. You can do a few layers of this. I'm doing three layers of powder. You don't want to sweep it like that because that will move the wax around, so you just want to pat, pat, pat. Once you've got something that looks like this, it doesn't have to be perfect, you just want to use the end of a spoon and cut your slits. Cut through the wax, like this. Once you've done that, you want to set the inside, you just want to get your pointer finger and the flannel and just pat inside of that. Now I'm going to get my one pound eyeshadow from MUA. This is shade 19, which is a matte brown. You want to use a matte dark brown for this. Matte means no shine, no shimmer whatsoever because matte will just look a lot more natural than shimmer. You can use a cotton bud or a cheap makeup brush and you just want to get some of the dark brown powder and apply that into the cuts. This won't look realistic right now, but what this is going to do is create depth and dimension. Once we add the blood on top, which is a lighter colour, it will just make the whole cut look a lot more realistic and deeper. Now for the fun part, the fake blood. I'm going to be using Blood by Makeup International. You can use a liquidy fake blood from the Pound Store or the Halloween Store. Honestly, like, cheap ones work so well as well. And I'm just going to take that on the same brush that we used before and you just want to go right into the cut. Just continue to put the blood inside of the gash and look how meaty that looks. Oh my god, that looks rank, that looks disgusting. You want to get your flannel again and get some of the blood on it and just pat little speckles on it. You can get the dark brown as well onto the flannel and just create texture with that if you want to go for that dirty feel like you've been in the woods and a bear has scratched you. I'm gonna add a dripping one right here. That's cool. I really like that. To finish off the look I'm just gonna get some of my eyeshadow and apply that onto my eye and apply that to my eye bags just to make me look worn out and tired. It just ties in the whole look. This is the final look you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you look forward to the rest of my Halloween tutorials. I will be doing easy ones like this and I will be doing much more intricate ones in the future. So I hope that you enjoyed it guys. This has been Mark Zapanta, the Prince of Vanity. Please give this video a thumbs up because that really helps me out. And comment down below and subscribe. God damn it. Bye bye.
Halloween is so messy. Fake blood is so messy. I've just stained my carpet with blood. And I've got cream carpets. Oh, I'm gonna have to clean that before my mum sees that. <laughs> 